And this all goes back to the pinnacle point of Mawlidun Nabi, the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad. They try to say it's only Sunnah, it's only Muqqada, but it's a pinnacle point of the Aqa'in. If you don't believe in the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, you're anti Kharij, you're away from Ahlul Sunnah. You are no longer part of Ahlul Sunnah. That has become the symbol of their belief. You believe in Mawlidun Nabi, you are a true believer. And my simple words to these individuals, one simple word that I challenge these individuals, bring me one simple hadith, one single hadith. And I'll even open up the doors, bring a fabricated hadith, a weak hadith from the Sunnah, bring it to me. Whereby the Prophet Muhammad specifically said, don't forget to celebrate my birthday. Don't bring me, I was born on a Monday. A fast on a Monday, a fast on a Thursday. The gates of paradise are open on a Monday or on a Thursday. Or bring the verse from the Quran, قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِي فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُ هُوَ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا يَجْمَعُونَ Let us rejoice in his blessing. They say this blessing is referring to the blessing of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ulama of Tafasir mentioned the siyak of the ayat of rejoicing is the blessing of the Quran, the blessing of the Sunnah. There is no clear-cut hadith. There is no clear-cut hadith. There is no hadith that exists. But they want to play on the emotions of people to say that this is the real love, the real devotion. Remember everything about his blessed life has been documented. The way he urinated, the way he laughed, the way he wept, the way he talked, the way he slept, the way he kissed his wife, the way he done everything inside his life. Billahi alaykum. If every single thing has been documented, every single book of hadith, why is there not one single hadith? If I'm Gustafi Rasul, if I'm blaspheming against the messenger, we spend all our life reading for his sunnah, all our life reading for his ahadith. Ulama of ahadith, ahadith, ulama of ahadith spend all of their life searching to find the statements of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu All of a sudden, you found it. All of a sudden, you found it. And even more than that, you found it before Abu Bakr. You found it before Umar. You found it before Uthman. You found it before Ali. Were they too busy? That you found his birthday and they never found his birthday. Does it make sense to you? You found it, they never found it. And likewise, the rest of the companions, Bilal, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, after the, the, the demise of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he stopped giving the adhan. You want to play on people's emotions? Bilal stopped giving the adhan. He said, كَيْفَ أُؤَذِّنْ How can I carry on when I come to أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولَ اللَّهِ No longer in front of me. He's no longer in front of me. I can't say these words anymore. Stop giving the adhan. Only in two occasions in his life did he ever come back and give the adhan. And all of the companions that wept when they heard the adhan. Wantum Juhan. Before the adhan, you begin to give the rule. Did Bilal ever give the rule before the adhan? Did he ever give them the rule before the adhan? Ever in his life? Do you love the messenger more than Bilal? Do you love him more than the messenger? Do you? You don't. It's a false practice. Before the adhan, read the darood. Which hadith is it? Which hadith is it existed? You admit it's a false hadith. And you want to show that you love the messenger more than Bilal. You love the messenger more than the companion. You're liars. You're liars. That's what you are in your face. You're liars. There's no doubt about that in my life. The biggest liars you are. On the day of judgment, the messenger will say to you, Sultan, Sultan, be off, be off. You are liars. You are people who attributed to me words that never existed. You attributed practices to me that never existed. You are people who attributed these false liars. That's what will be said to these individuals. There's no doubt about that. There's no time to chew our words anymore. People want to say that we chew our words about these individuals. They want to say that we are the individuals who blaspheme against him. We're the ones that defamed him. We're the ones that dishonor him. We're the ones that degrade him. When in our lives have we ever degraded him? In our lives. Never in our lives. Searching throughout our lives. And Nabi you Aula bin Mu'minina min anfusi him. The messenger, the prophet is closer to us than even our own souls. Our own souls for you, who's closer to you? Who are the people close to you? The mafia industry around you. These people will kill to defend their awliya, their peace. They will kill you to defense of their people. Not defense of the heart, not the defense of the truth.